So I want to move on to the uh, next session. So uh, this is searches.com platform in which we are going to set our uh, campaigns. Let's set our campaigns together, like based on our uh, keyword playbook here that I uh, created. So um, here um, in the searches.com uh, dashboard, we have this ads manager part. So this is, this is basically the layer that uh, we are managing all our campaigns, all the bits, like everything uh, that is like basically the most important for our Apple searches campaigns. And here we are in the campaign layer because we are going to create campaigns basically. And when I click on this create part, I'm going to be able to create my campaign. So I clicked on this. So um, we can we can uh, select our campaign group, but since this is an example, let's let's uh, keep it like this. I'm going to um, look for my app. So this is my app's ID. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it here. So this is my app. I selected this. I'm going to uh, set these campaigns in the US storefront. As an example, you can, you can select any storefront that you want. You can also use multiple storefronts as well, but like for, for a beginning, I want to choose only the US storefront. So I'm going to choose uh, the campaign type. As I said, we have brand, generic, competitor, and discovery campaigns, like four campaigns as Apple's recommended structure. Uh, but like as a starter, let's start with the comp like setting the competitor campaign. So I'm going to give it a name. Uh, like the naming convention is important both in the campaign layer and in the um, ad group layer because like when you are using some filters in the long run, it can be it can be a bit confusing, especially if you have a lot of apps, a lot of campaigns, ad groups. It can be confusing. So using a proper uh, like naming convention is going to make it easier for you. So let's say that um, geometry solver as like this is an abbreviation. Let's say uh, competitor. US. Okay, so this is my campaign's name. Uh, and I'm going to give my budget here for this specific uh, campaign. Let's say, let's see how much budget that we like, we gave, we allocated 6,500. I'm going to give it, write this here. And this is the um, daily cap. Um, this is optional, actually. Um, we can let, let's enter it as well. So this is it's, it's going to be uh, 216.17. Okay, so here I'm going to create the ad group under this campaign. So it is going to be, uh, as I said, we need to, it, it is better for us to use a naming convention here. So I'm going to copy this campaign name and I'm going to say that exactly. Because in, in the long run, maybe I, I can uh, create a broad ad group as well. So let's let's say that it is an exact campaign. It is going to be an exact campaign. And I can select the devices, uh, iPad and iPhone both, like iPhone only, iPad only. Let's let's uh, choose them together. And we are going to give it a bit. So what did we allocate it for this one? 1.5. There is this CPA goal option as well, but um, like this is optional. Uh, you don't have to enter anything here. So here we have another section, by the way, you can also uh, open the search match here, but since this is the competitor campaign, we are not going to use search match. We are going to use it in a discovery campaign. So I, we like in the ad group keywords section, we are going to upload our keywords. So how do we do this? Let's open our um, competitor in, like section in our playbook. So in Apple searches, we are um, uploading our keywords in comma separated format. So each of these keywords need to, needs to be separated with commas. That's why I use these commas here and I use this concat form formula here. So I'm going to copy all these keywords here. You can, you can use like 500, like 1000 keywords here. Uh, so you can just basically like in one second, you can copy all these keywords and you can say add, add, add keywords to add group. And we are going to just paste all these keywords. And when I say add, they're going to be added like in, in a second. So uh, since they are added as broad, let's change the uh, match type here. Let's make it exact. Our keyword is uh, again like 1.5. So when I say confirm, all of them are going to be exact here. And when I say next, it is going to check if there is a duplication issue here. Since like we are just setting our campaigns from scratch, there is, there's not going to be any duplication issues. But if you had some like previous campaigns in the same storefront, it was going to show these all these issues uh, in a very detailed way. So we added all our keywords here. And 
um, okay, let's let's see the rest of the um, settings here. Okay, we are all done for this for this campaign. So when I click on the start campaign, this campaign is going to be all ready. Okay, there is an unexpected error, and this happened in my webinar. Um, I think it's because the app is not an agency. Uh, our account is not an agency account. So like because hmm. this uh, app belongs to someone else, we can publish it. But we know we understand the general idea. Hmm. Okay, um, so let's say that this is uh, created, okay, because I want to show you how to duplicate these campaigns as well. So this is how to create a campaign from scratch, okay, you got the idea. So I want to show you how to create uh, a campaign from scratch. And now I want to show you how to, how to um, duplicate a campaign. So let's, let's select a campaign from here that, uh, that we can duplicate. Um, this is going to be an example as well. So let's say that our campaign is going to be one example campaign of Fuber app. So here we have an example campaign. So let's say that this is our geometry solver campaign. So we are going to duplicate this for to be able to create our like brand uh, generic and discovery campaigns. So it is going to be quite easy when I click on this duplicate here. It is going to open our campaign duplicate wizard here. So uh, I am going to duplicate it for my um, generic competitor and brand. Uh, so I'm going. To, I want to uh, duplicate it for two other campaigns as well. So here I have three other campaigns and their ad groups within them. I'm, I'm just going to make small edits in these campaigns. So since uh, we created our, um, you know, competitor campaign uh, for the, like previously, we created, let's say that we created our competitor campaign. So this is going to be our generic campaign. So like, again, uh, paying attention to the naming convention, you can say that like, uh, what was it? Uh, geometry solver and like generic. So this is uh, going to be the name of my campaign, generic campaign, and we can select the uh, campaign type. We are going to set the budget here. And uh, what was it? Let's check it from our roadmap. Okay, it is the same. Okay, I can type it here. Okay, it's probably this is again because of the same issue. Uh, like, okay, let's say that we could do it as well. So, okay, this this was how I edited my uh, generic campaign, and this is going to be my. Uh, it was going to be uh, the like the edit part of this ad group of this uh, generic campaign. We could also make like small edits of this generic campaign, and this can be our um, brand campaign, and this can be our discovery campaign. This cover. So you can just make some edits in like the app's name and the campaign's name in the budgets in the daily caps, like in also in the ad groups, like with just by making small edits like this, like in maybe 10 minutes, you can create all your campaigns like and you can do this in a lot of storefronts. For example, we are doing this for all English storefronts and like for five storefronts maybe and sometimes we have like not four campaigns or maybe like six campaigns or something. So we are duplicating all these storefronts, all these campaigns in like 10 or 15 uh, minutes. And it is all ready for us. So this is this duplication wizard makes it quite easy. Sorry that we couldn't uh, show all the details that uh, this duplication wizard had, but like, um, like it, it's, it makes it quite easy, quite quick for us to duplicate, to uh, create campaigns for us.